My name is Jason Thomas. I am an assistant editor here at the News and Tribune, and I have been here, what is today? July 7th? Tomorrow I'll be here three years. As an assistant editor, uh, I work closely uh, with the reporters in um, planning out the uh, paper each day. I also work with the editor. I'm kind of her uh, right-hand man with um, just making sure uh, our mission stays on point each day with uh, putting out the paper. You know, I, I don't think um, the average person realizes uh, how much work uh, goes into uh, a newspaper each day. So, uh, you know, it's um, I kind of joke and call it the uh, daily miracle and not in a bad connotation, but that so many pieces, you know, have to come together every day. So as an assistant editor, I'm kind of constantly pulling all those uh, together uh, with the reporters and with the photography staff and with the digital staff uh, to make sure everything is running smoothly. So that encompasses uh, a lot of things every day. So, you know, um, I'll start my day touching base um, with uh, reporters and the uh, editing staff uh, to see uh, what we got going for the next day and um, we'll kind of huddle and uh, plan that out and then um, I'll also do a lot of um, editing uh, stories, a lot of copy editing. Uh, we're constantly uh, publishing stories and photographs and hopefully videos to the website um, so it's a, a constant uh, flow of that and I'm usually the editor that uh, puts the uh, paper to bed so um, you know I'll proof a lot of pages at night so um, you know it's a uh, fluid um, process because you know we can't um, predict the news um, so while we try to put as many things in place throughout the day uh, it's constantly evolving and I think that's what's really rewarding about newspapers because every day we start from scratch and we produce a product that um, hopefully uh, informs our readers, entertains them, and uh, helps them um, find out uh, what's happening in their community every day. I'm really proud of the creation of So In, which is our weekly culture and arts section. It's something that we developed because Southern Indiana has so many new initiatives when it comes to the arts, new restaurants, and we didn't really have a voice to showcase all that. So with So In, each week we really strive to come up with unique stories, unique personalities, and we really put an emphasis on storytelling and design and it's just a really cool element that a paper our size usually doesn't have so it's been a a real fun adventure creating that and seeing that really become popular and a really essential part of our newspaper well I kind of fancy myself a writer so I would love to interview and have a martini with Ernest Hemingway. You know, a lot of people think they can write, but most of it is crap, honestly, and me included. So I'd love to really pick his brain about what is good writing. You know, he considered his style, a lot of people called it boiled down, but he called it true. And I think that is such a rare trait when it comes to writing, to really be true. So much of it is just fluff. So I would love to pick his brain about when he put something on the page, what was his editing process? What, what made it stick out to say, wow, this is good. And then have a martini and maybe a cigar and somewhere in Key West or Havana and just chill out with the man. Well, I'm a child of the 80s, well also the 70s, but more like the 80s where I really formed my musical taste so I would have to say Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses because that was my go-to band in high school and I regret not seeing their 20 year reunion or so and it's been a while so um, I'm pretty good at uh, coming up with the lyrics to that song and I guess the other one would have to be Milkshake. Three words I would use to describe uh, the News and Tribune are present, watchdog, and invested. Present because we're here every day in the community telling the stories of our readers. 
watchdog because we're here to um, hold uh, public officials accountable for their actions um, and invested because uh, much like present, we're here in the community, we're invested in this community, the Southern Indiana community. We're here for our readers.